Today I'm making a quick video about how to tell the difference between tire noise and a wheel bearing from the driver's seat. Um, when you're driving a car and um, a lot of customers come in and they say they hear a bearing noise when they're driving, they, you know, they've had wheel bearings fail on other cars and they think that's that's what causes that this type of noise. And um, other people say they think it's a tire and you know, the best way to identify the difference is if you're going say 40, 50 miles per hour, whenever the noise comes in, and you take the steering wheel and you you load the car side to side like this you drive kind of you know like you load the steering wheel side to side and the noise changes pitch it's it, it sharply changes pitch it goes from being quiet to loud quiet to loud depending on which way you load the car that's a wheel bearing um, sometimes you'll have tire that tire noise that does change slightly when you load the car side to side but it won't be it won't be nearly as um, sudden and uh and you know you won't notice it as much and usually the noise stays consistent with tire noise um, when you actually have a problem with the tread and they're you know wavy uh, from an alignment issue or just aggressive driving style or whatever so um, a wheel bearing issue almost always with these modern sealed you know ball bearing wheel bearings when you're when you're driving and you load it side to side you can get it to um, change pitch um also, tire noise, what I've noticed is on D-cell, you can tell um, a tire noise versus a wheel bearing. A wheel bearing on D-cell will get quieter and quieter. And tire noise, sometimes you'll hear like a, uh, like a whoa, 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 <laughs> you know, kind of noise when you slow down. You'll hear a, you'll hear a noise that's like a cyclic noise on D-cell that, that gets quieter and quieter until, you know until you're to a stop a wheel bearing won't act that way you won't you won't hear much on diesel you'll it'll get up to speed where the bearing is loudest you'll hear it then and then when you slow down it'll it'll be quiet or you know, relatively quiet depending on you know the severity of the bearing but um that's just what i've noticed that's how i tell i take the car get it up to whatever speed it's the loudest and and just load the car side to side that's usually the best giveaway you know if you don't have a hoist, if you lift it up, you can listen to it with a stethoscope, listen to the hubs. That's the sure way to know which wheel bearing it is. But if you can't do that, you're, you know, you're, the best way to tell on the road is just doing that is what I've noticed. But all right. Thanks.